it's Rhiannon here at Mild Domestic Church. I wanted to do a video today, a real quick video about how um, we can not only bring God into everything, but order everything in our lives to the Lord. So as always, I like to create little diagrams and paper and encouragement um, for myself. And then I thought I'd share it with any ladies here that are seeking to make Christ the Blessed Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, the center of our lives, and to honor Our Lady with our walk like we would want to with any good mother. Um, so I'm going to flip the camera around and show you what I have here and then talk a bit more about it. If God is the true focus of life, what does that mean for an everyday life? Everything would be ordered to Him. Everything. Every decision, every choice, every glance, every thought. Here is God, the Blessed Trinity, Our Lady, my family, all the things listed, the world. Marriage, motherhood, community, friendships, meals, clothing, cleaning, homeschooling. Okay, so this is how I can break this down. My life oriented to the Blessed Trinity and honoring Our Lady in my marriage. I had a little typo here, but be loving, pray for my husband, look lovely and nice for him. And then I added this, always invite Christ into every aspect, honor him, always speak well of him, build up other marriages and always speak well of him if you need to have one person like a Titus 2 woman to confide in to find help that's that's fine of course but this is just um important for our sake but also for the community and for him and as always when I speak about marriages I'm not talking about abuse motherhood be loving pray for each child individually invite Christ and Our Lady into my mothering Always speak well of our children, build them up, and build up their friends. Clothing. Will this outfit honor the Lord and please Our Lady? Is this outfit practical for this event and situation? Community, friendship, social media. Proper place in life, beyond the fence. Kindness, encouragement, godly wisdom and advice. Empathy while pointing to Jesus. And beyond the fence, meaning our home, our husband, children first. Of course, we can invite and host people, but they are not within our home, in our life, like also metaphorically speaking. Meals, homemaking. Always from a place of love, order, ora et labora, pray and work must be the vehicle here. Create an ordered structure for meals and home that is non-negotiable. Pray over everything. Homeschooling. Teach of God, Our Lady, the Saints, Virtue, Order, Goodness, and Truth. Add in math, English, some science, and Catholic history with a dash of popular culture. Okay, so I am a little juvenile the way I like to write things out and put flowers on everything, but it's just the way that I like to do it. Um, so I think this is really important because when I really think about the Blessed Trinity and I really think about the order of life, God is the point and purpose and focus and goal of, of everything. And if that is true, there's definitely an order and a system in which to do it. And I think that our beautiful mother, in a sense, the Catholic Church, has given us such a wonderful order and structure in which to understand our Lord um, and to live our life. And that's one of the reasons I love the Catechism. There are so many encyclicals written by the popes. There are... Um, there is just a wealth of knowledge within the church that will help us in our everyday life. Um, but anyway, so I wanted to share this because it is so easy as humans to get, you know, focused on a thousand other things um, to restructure our thinking to fit into the world, into the ways of the world. And, you know, we also have to be gentle with ourselves because we're humans and, you know, and if you wanted to, you know, understand a bit about temptation and uh, the ways in which like our guardian angels as well as demons kind of um, can mess with us, I would really encourage you to listen to a, a video. I haven't listened to the whole thing yet, but I've listened to a good amount of it. It's called Guardian Angels by Father Ripperger. I always feel like I pronounce his last name wrong, but I will put it in the description bo box below. It's really good. Um, it's deep. It's deep, so prepare yourself if you're going to listen to it. Um, but it helped me a lot when I listened to, at least the portion of it that I listened to, to help me understand, like, gosh, you know, we are very precious to the Lord, and we have point and purpose, and we're important. 
Um, at the same time, we are human. We are not, it, it is very hard for us. You know, we have to really trust in the Lord. And I think that the world wants to tell us that we are like, you know, we can do anything. We are so capable. We are, which is really, some of it can be really great. But at the same time, it can also be very lofty and set us up a little higher than where we really are um, as creatures, even though we are body and soul. And so I think it's good to always remember our place and, you know, in the Lord and to know that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us according to his purpose. Um, but just that. So anyway, uh, this is all really important to me. I feel like um, whether I'm trying to or not, this is how the Lord has ordered it in my heart. Do I fail at these things that I share with you? Yeah, I do. And it's really frustrating and I don't want to, but I do. Sometimes sickness happens. Sometimes things happen that are just really challenging in life. But that's the beautiful thing about the Lord is he's always there for us and always helpful. Um, but this is, you know, I really encourage people to make uh, sheets like this or, or maybe make it on your phone. I get, sometimes I have a tendency to get really wrapped up in like vision boards not that I'm saying that they can be necessarily bad, but I'm just saying that I think it's more important to not so much focus on my vision, but to focus on what God is calling me to. And these fun little things like this, little diagrams, papers that are beautiful, things that you can put up and see every day. Um, and to just kind of like make sure that you know what matters and where you want to orient your life uh, towards the Lord, like how you want to do that, how you're going to practically do that every day. Um, I just think these things are really important and they're helpful and motivating, especially when things happen that are hard and we tend to go away from this. Like we are in the process of moving cross country. We're going to be moving at one point and we have been in a place of disarray in the house. The meals have gotten funny. I had back spasms for over a week. I couldn't do hardly anything. We were eating. We were not eating so well. Everyone started to feel not so great because I wasn't making all of our home, all of our food from scratch pretty much. And like, it was just, it was challenging. Yeah. So some of these things sometimes go to the wayside a little bit, but that's a time of growing in prayer, asking others to help and pitch in more, and that gets that helps them to grow in virtue. So all of it has purpose. God uses it all for his glory and for his kingdom. So I just wanted to share this today, and I hope it has blessed any of you who are listening, and I hope you guys are doing well in your vocations and your walk. And if you're new here, I'd love for you to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I will talk with you ladies later. God bless.